Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. Okay, guys. So we wanted to do just a brief update on some of the stuff that's happening. The biggest thing everybody seems to be talking about at the moment is this gigantic, as uh, Mario here is calling it, 40-hour magnetic storm. Yeah, this is this is a big one. This There's no way you cannot see this as a big one. It's huge. Actually, we were just out in the yard, and it almost feels like when we went out when the, um, you know, the eclipse was on, but maybe in a totally different way. The sun feels very strong, and everything looks brighter. It's um, very vibrant. Uh, it's kind of how this area always kind of looked to me because we're, we're over ley lines where we live. And, um, you know, it just has a, a crystalline feel to it. It's, it's definitely, there's more life out there. When I, when I look into the leaves, I look into the trees, I look at the grass, like every, everything is crawling with more life. So it's very, very curious. My body is tingling. My crown chakra has been going crazy since last night. Um, a lot of weird shivers. Now, there is a lot going on with our bodies, and that's what I've been saying this whole time. This is more about the human evolution than it is what happens to the 3D. However, just before we hopped on here, we, we did decide to ask and see if we can get some information uh, via the galactics as far as what's going on. And I can tell you guys, they are watching... They are waiting. They're hoping for that there will not be any uh, major, major outages, major catastrophes. However, they are on standby. Yeah, as we see, the KP here is over eight. So this is a G4 level uh, response. And in reality, you know, you got to wonder, are we going to hit the highest levels it feels like it. it. It really feels very, very strong and intense. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of light force out there at the moment. As you see, model guidance is forecasting up to a KP9. Uh, this is extreme. And so obviously you can have extreme effects on the Earth. This is happening on May 10th. Um, thankfully, up to this date, no major uh, earthquakes uh, so far that have transpired uh, because Nostradamus's famous quatrain where he actually gives a date is uh, the sun 20 degrees into Taurus uh, and talks about a great quake. And, you know, right now that's where we are at. It's, it's, it's May 10th. And we are going to have a chance to see perhaps once in a lifetime aurora. And you can see this little map right here. If you're in the northern tier states in the U.S., you got a really good chance. You're probably going to see some spectacular skies tonight, even down to, say, northern Arkansas and all the way across to Raleigh. And, you know, don't give up hope if you are in Dallas or Atlanta or even in New Orleans. You, ne you never know. You might see something, some amazing skies and they say the best viewing time is going to be between 2 and 5 a.m saturday morning in north carolina eastern time so very interesting now this is also interesting um seems there's more more than one source talking about getting messages wouldn't surprise us at all if you are in the dod or if you're in the u.s uh, army you're getting an, an alert about this right now just telling you uh, to be al to be alert to power outages of course and GPS outages that should not be surprising in any way shape or form with the KP up as high as it is <clears throat> six CMEs incoming uh, yeah that would we would expect that keep a flashlight extra batteries on hand Yes, extra, extra everything, Mat matches, lighters, etc., etc., and you're already getting uh, auroras in Russia, you know, so just be aware, guys, you know, the quake is the thing that I would be the most concerned with right now, as well as obviously losing the grid for periods of time. Interesting, that's coming 
at the exact same time as so much disclosure to the world on different levels. This is one of the most important moments in history for victims of neuro weapons. The U.S. national security is now admitting brain control technology exists. It's being used on Americans. The CIA has been covering it up. And this was May 8th, uh, Homeland Security Committee, as you see this. Yeah, the Havana Syndrome, it, it goes on and on. This, this is something that's been part of that CONS piracy uh, theory program for a very long time, which just simply means those that are in the know and realize what's going on well before the masses do. But the masses have been dumbed down on purpose. They, they have been given the fluoridated water, uh, the horrible foods and you know the toxic water uh, they're ingesting constantly from these plastic bottles, all these estrogen producing, you know, toxins, of course people are not thinking clearly. And then they got the, the FIVEG towers that are just literally frying their brains. And here you have, this is a German member of parliament who's been very, very outspoken, Christine Anderson. And she's talking about, you know, the cure to the plague upon the land and how it will be uh, known as the biggest crime ever to be committed on mankind. This go round. That's this go round. This happens repeatedly, and a lot of people are starting to really understand this. Um, I've watched Larry, uh, his Twitter account grow substantially, and you know, it sounds like I, I would say this: they burn midwives and healers at the stake as witches because they knew how to help the body heal. Nothing has changed. Natural healing modalities have always been under attack. He gets it. You know, this system's been in place a very long time, thousands of years. And then you'll get people that um, make the comment, well, Earth is hell. It's always been hell. No, it's not. It's just the Kali Yuga. It's just the Dark Age, which is a very small portion of most of the time. And, you know, let's not forget and lose sight that we are stepping out of that, too. But as we step out of it, uh, things can get kind of ugly because the controllers, I mean, we are definitely a big, big source of food to, to keep us afraid and to keep us in the dark, to keep us uncertain, is to really keep us on um, another entity's dinner plate. And we're moving away from that because we're understanding the truth. And usually when you uh, can see the truth and you have a, a deeper understanding of things and you know now, you know, that it, it wasn't God in the Bible that was punishing everyone. It's the controllers that are here that are punishing people through the technology. It's It's been technology all along. And so many people are waking up and I see a real big push through the organized religion community to really try, try to restart again because so many people are walking away and they're dismissing it because the Bible, it's just not holding up. It, I mean, there's way too many holes in it. There's too many leaks in it. Um, people, <laughs> people are finding these leaks in droves, especially as the technology uncovers itself. I mean, you can see it. It's so plain right there. You, the reality is better than what's given. Uh, the reality is, you know, we are literally source exploring its own creation. Ultimately, we are fractals of the one source, uh, the one consciousness. We are all drops in the ocean of that one consciousness and exploring its own creation in a myriad of different ways. So we already have eternal quote unquote life because as soon as you leave the body you just walk through another door and you're just exploring a different dimension it's just that simple it, there's nothing to be really fearful about uh you're on the roller coaster ride right now this is the roller coaster ride uh it's all about holding your frequency and at the same time you'll have people that want to wish away and say Okay, this is not happening in my reality. La, 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 I can't hear you. Well, you know, you do need to pay attention when all this is going down because you don't want to be caught unprepared. The UN General Assembly has just overwhelmingly voted in favor of Palestine's bid to become a full member of the UN. 
So you have this at the same time. This is where, where we're at now is, is that you're getting a glimpse of the possibilities. You're recognizing the systems being exposed. And yet they're going to do all they can to hold on to power. So they have a couple of cards to play and you know they're going to play them. What's this? This is spotted off the coast of Walton County. So this is in the Panhandle of Florida, taken with a 30 times zoom. It's very tall. It's, it's kind of unusual. Uh, oil rig? Uh, no, it doesn't look like an oil rig. I don't think it's a ship. Uh, I mean, oil rig is what I would think over in the Gulf, but it doesn't look like that. So, you know, what exactly is this? Uh, it almost has the look of a rocket about to be launched in reality. Could they launch a rocket from a platform? Or is this some sort of unusual technology they're getting prepared to use? Or just a nothing burger, another illusion in the Matrix. Curious times. But again, I do think that they are going to play those cards, which that does include the WW3 card. Off the coast of Florida, researchers have found seven artifacts, among which there's a 12,000-year-old mask of the god Viracocha. Uh, it's iridium, which, from which the finds are made in the vast interior of our planet, is usually found in impurities of other metals. Very, very small, but abundant in meteorites. When it was discovered in the early 19th century, it was described as hard refractory with high corrosion resistance. So, uh, uh, why is there a mask made out of this? You know, that, that's so old. How is it possible? Again, it just shows you the history is totally, totally not what they say. And we've had not only vast... Um, interaction with extraterrestrials of all different sorts were, were only controlled by the Dark Ones in the Kali Yuga. They gained control uh, towards the latter part of Dwapara, or the Bronze Age, and right now we're in a transitionary phase where they're going to lose control again. They're being found out. This was um, what we were talking about in the last video. This video was up on EE Arts, if I believe right. We've been bouncing around so much. Uh, you could see there's like a flash goes into the flare and then it comes out and it comes out. Um, you know, it, it's just pretty darn wild into thin air. Um, he's done a, a, a great job at keeping up with all this stuff. So we used it as the, um, as the, what you call those things? Um, the, 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 the the tag for the video with the three different angles that you can see it and this is the last the thumbnail um, straight lines like that no this is technology obviously this is technology technology doing what it, are they actually trying to trigger this because what this is going to do is is it's going to trigger a growth in consciousness it's triggering our evolution it's turning on the dna that's been turned off most of our dna has been turned off they've only left the bare necessity for life turned on and the sun's turning it back on so it's a double-edged sword if they want to provoke a fear response if they want to get down to a certain number like on those guide stones that got blown up they got to take certain steps, but when they take these steps, then they end up at the same time defeating their own purpose because they're also awakening us at the same time. Mm. Their problem is that um, through any type of <clears throat> through any type of pain or any type of resistance, humans do nothing but grow in strength. I mean, that's their problem. So they're trying really, really, really hard to knock humans down. I believe, but they're gonna have a, a whole nother story coming i mean people do amazing things say let's say when they are down and they are out and their backs up against a wall they really have to make things happen i mean humans are probably the most resilient creatures so uh, i don't think it's a very wise thing that they should try to do this well you know this is it, it, it it's the system being exposed for what it is 
and it's humanity just going to start to live up to its potential and also shedding of the dark age 222 quakes right now that's an interesting number is it not i've been really watching closely uh mostly the pacific side just to keep uh keep an eye on because you know obviously we are in a period with a lot of excitation to the interior of the planet and absolutely we can have a bigger quake or we could have some interesting volcanoes popping off at any time again we want to thank everybody for your support over on patreon source bless stay prepared namaste namaste